Hey folks, Jeremy Klein with you with Outdoors NB. Today we're going to take a look at, we're going to do an overview, overview unboxing of the Old Town Sportsman 10.6 Minn Kota or MK. I've uh, just unboxed this for a customer tonight. Got everything ready. Uh, stuff, propeller on there. Uh, seat set up. Uh, what else did we do? There's something else I added. Anyway, there's some stuff you do to get it all together and ready. The kayak comes equipped with a full-size battery box, which is placed under the seat, providing more in-haul storage space up forward over the traditional placement of Old Town's previous electronics battery bag. Our battery is set up for, by the size of this, I'd say our normal lead acid, a lithium battery that size in that box. It would give you all kinds of amperage for the day. And then if you want to disconnect your battery, take it in, what have you, that is your other end of your your uh, the other termination of the, the power going into the, the battery box. And the battery box has uh, already set up in it the positive and negative leads. And then there's an accessory port on that battery box as well if you want to take your electronics and connect them here and bring them out. So we have dry storage compartment in the front it's, all it is is access into the hall um, we have our Minn Kota drive with a sealed hatch so there's an there's a little gasket here that seals in here that is on this little Minn Kota drive so you have a little storage between your legs ample room here in the stern if you want to put your milk crates or the size of this half of an exact <laughs> it's, it's very big The kayak also comes equipped with a fairly new feature from Old Town, and that's through hull wiring kits, three of them to be exact, one beside the motor's wiring connection point, and one at the bow end of both forward flush mount rails, allowing for a much more seamless and clean electronics install for those of us that don't appreciate wires in the way as we're fishing and hunting. One thing that I find extremely cool, and I'm glad Old Town has come up with this, I've got to look at the, the 120s and the autopilots and stuff, but in the past with the Predator, uh, PDLs, and some of the other models, if I didn't want to have my motor, I would have to buy a, a, a plug, basically, for the hole that the motor goes in. The 10.6 Sportsman Minn Kota has a plug right here stored front of it back of it when it's put in where the motor goes and then it makes up some of the storage capacity i guess it it it, it, it sits flush in here and stored there very cool idea so we have that that's fairly new new to this you know as this model came out Two rod holders behind the seat, flush mount rod holders, handle goes down in. Old Town has also added a forward facing rod holder on the left side of the seat for quick access to one of your rod setups. Place here for your lanyard as well. This is fairly new within the last year or so. Little tab for lanyards. I'm sure guys have been losing stuff. Old Town has also incorporated flush mount accessory rails forward and aft of the kayak, allowing you to add an infinite number of rail mounted accessories from gun holders to rod holders, parking poles to watering holes. We're a sponsor to the region's premier canoe and kayak fishing tournament, Hook and Paddle, and as such, we're excited to see a molded area on the deck to facilitate tournament measuring boards. Now, but it comes with a uh, Old Town Sportsman branded tackle box, and there's some bits and pieces in there. On the right side of the boat, we have our paddle park or a paddle clip which is bolted on i had to bolt that was the other thing i had to bolt that on you have your throttle and uh battery 
indicator, but throttle here, for forward and reverse, battery indicator, right at your right hand side on the boat. Handles on either side. That's our other rail up there. So at the stern, they have molded in a spot for shallow water anchor mount. So that would be your not parking pole. Parking pole can go down in through here, but but there's a powered shallow water anchor that mounts to this. Um, and there's a brand that's really popular, and it's just not coming to my mind. But anyway, that mounts here. There's there's a uh, mounting stuff for that already in place. And, of course, they're equipped with a rudder, and the rudder is controlled by, there's, here we go. So this is our rudder deployment handle, as you can see as I'm cranking it. Oh, and you want to have your feet on the foot pegs to kind of adjust that. But that's going to come around, and it gets stowed right there, like so. There's some salt on there. You can remove our motor with these tabs. Just lock and unlock there and at the stern kill switch uh, clamp that's where you're going to clamp your kill switch on you should have that connected to you so if you fall overboard while this is under power it doesn't leave you or it doesn't go very far kickstand for the motor that's uh, a little bit different than like your pdls and stuff it's got the little kickstand i'm not going to deploy it because there's obviously a bag underneath of it here right now but you unplug here that's your power connection for the motor it's wired back behind the seat and we have a spot up front for your depth or uh, fish finder uh your if you're gonna go with joi stuff uh you'd be your your uh come on hummingbird Hummingbird uh, fish finder, you'd mount it here in this area. So this is where the sportsman line kind of gets its stability. So you have a cat that's a double hull, essentially. Then there's a keel at the stern. Like there's all kinds of design implements or design features in the hull. And what else can I show you guys? We have a drain plug in the front. Brilliant. Tip the boat up on its nose and all the water comes out through here. And that's your port for your motor. You gotta make sure the propeller is in line with the motor when you put it down and bring it up uh, or it's gonna, you'll break your fins off. And if you have any issues with fins, if you do something like that, or you hit a rock real hard, break a fin, break a uh, propeller, we have all kinds of propellers instead of boxes of propellers over here. So, Minn Kota ones and PDL. So guys, that's basically an overview. Uh, there's a few other little features, I guess, here. Little compartments and whatnot. But that's basically it. You have your sportsman seat, which is adjustable as well. Now, for those of you with a really keen eye, yes, the Sportsman 10.6 is a rebrand of the Topwater 10.6. The main difference is being color options, the seat, the Sportsman is equipped with a new molded in handle at the stern, and of course, the Topwater is not available in a Minn Kota. The Sportsman 10.6 has a hull length of 10 foot 6 inches long, making the ideal candidate to place in the bed of your truck with the tailgate down. The 10.6 has a width of 37 inches, resulting in a very stable platform, especially when that 37 inches is in a catamaran hull. The kayak's weight specs can be broken down as follows. The gross displacement is 525 pounds overall. The assembled kayak weighs 121 pounds. That weight includes the motor and the removable seat. 
at 17 pounds, the Minn Kota is one of the lighter integral motors on the market, and this leaves roughly 329 pounds of capacity after your battery is factored in. If you opt for a lighter lithium ion or lithium polymer, then your paddler and gear capacity will increase. So that's it. Any questions, throw them in the comments section. This is the Sportsman 10.6 powered by Minkota, and thank you for watching. If you have questions about gear selection, one of our summertime trips on the Bay of Funday, our West Isle Sea Kayak Symposium, one of our Paddle Canada courses, or you're just looking to buy some gear, feel free to call us or email us at sales at outdoorsnb.ca and 506-650-4686.